against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand. Stand therefore, having your learned, gird about with truth, and having on the blessed plates of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Amen. Above all, take the shield of faith. Yes. Wherewith you shall be able, you shall be able to quench all fiery darts of the wicked. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance, supplication for all saints. I want to talk about this morning, stand. Stand the fight of your life. You can't give ground when you're dealing with the enemy. I happen to love football very much. I'm still a cowboy fan. But what I want you to know is this, is that there have been some great people to play the game. But there's one in particular that I cared for a lot, even though he didn't play for my cowboy. His name was Ronnie Lott. And Ronnie Lott was a safety that made it to the Hall of Fame. But he gained his notoriety by how he would collide, how he would bring a collision. And his whole goal was to separate the person from the ball. Can I tell y'all that that is the first thing you have to be aware of, is that Satan is trying to separate you from God. Amen. Most Christians have forgotten that the Christian life is not a playground, but a battleground. And as a result, very few of the Lord's people are armed and equipped and ready to wage a spiritual battle. I turned on the news, I guess it was a couple of Sundays ago, <laughs> there was an incident in Fort Worth, Texas, where someone walked into the church and started shooting. But the church was prepared. Yeah. I need to tell you something here. You don't know what might happen, but you need to prepare yourself for anything that might happen. Can I get a witness in here? Yeah. And distorted mind will mess you up if you don't want. If you are to be successful in the work of the Lord Jesus, we must be prepared for the battle and ready to go to war. Yeah. Yeah. I want to ask you a question right quick. And the question is this. Do you have anything in your life that's worth fighting for? Yeah. Yeah. 
three times in this passage, you'll find the word stand. Three different times. And what it deals with, my brothers and sisters, is to be empowered through your union with God. Everything starts with relationship. So I want to start in verse 10, part B, and say my first point is our enemy in this fight. He's no stranger to us. In fact, I talked about it before, but I'll just throw this out for free, and that's this is that the name devil means a slanderer and accuser. Yeah. And in Revelation it said that he goes before God both day and night accusing the brethren. Yes, sir. The first thing that you have to ask the Lord to deliver you from is this. Is being worried about what anybody else has to say or think about how you're walking your walk in the Lord. I'm serious. I'm serious. That's how you back this. Don't mean you can't be all God wants you to be. It doesn't matter what's on the sign. What matters is what's on the inside of you. Jesus inside of me. Come on. And if I'm going to get a harvest, it's going to be based out of my relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ yeah. and the name on the side of the church that I lead. That's right. I would have not had a fight for it. And I've been in a few fights in my day when I was in sin and in the world. And can I tell y'all something? That some of those fights, they hit me very hard and it stung me and it hurt. But I fought harder. I didn't just stay down. I didn't throw in the towel. I throw again. Yes. Look at somebody say you need to dig in. Dig in. You need to dig in. Dig in. See, from slanderer and accuser, we get the word diabolical. And his name reveals his character. I need you to understand something. Your name means something. Someone mentioned that on yesterday. A name normally reveals a person's character. My name happens to be Donald. Donald means a gainer of victory, but that meant that I have to fight in order to get the victory. Yes. Now my middle name is Edward, which means a prince. Oh, man. Oh, bless his name, y'all. Yes, sir. <laughs> but the next thing I need you to know is this right here in, in verse 11. <laughs> We start looking at the nature of the devil, his mindset, and how he likes to rip you apart. Here's the deal. Listen, whatever weakness you have, you better believe that that's where he's going to start. Oh, yeah. Uh, in football, in football, before you play the game, there's always an exchange of film in order to study how the other team operates the play that they're going to run. And so when I was coaching, the first thing we did is we looked at inside run plays. 
and how they were positioned. Outside run plays, we looked at how they positioned. The passing game, there's three step drops, five step drops, and that determines how you defend. <coughs> Can I get a win? Come on. Come on. And so every play is designed for a touchdown. But in certain circumstances, there are plays that are unique to do nothing but to advance the ball. Yeah. I need you to know something that the homes are about helping you advance the ball. God made 
and he was given responsibility to conduct the choir and with every movement of his being uh, showed nothing but beauty and light and, and, and really brought about through that influence him being able to uh, persuade others to be on his side to call Nina. <laughs> the Bible says that when, when Satan hit the earth, a third of the angelic host fell with him. Okay, here, here's another point. You better watch who you hang around. Yes, sir. The next thing you need to do is you need to watch negativity. Yes, sir. Now, 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 this is for free. It ain't even in the notes, but here's what I got to tell you about that. Listen, y'all, I need to let you understand one thing about this fight. It's not so much what's happening on the outside, but what's happening on the inside. Hey. 